I will proceed to our half failure analysis. First, we need to load the data set. So this is our data set. Uh. So for the EDA, actually we need to bring display the first few row of the data set. So now we proceed to, we need to check the, for the missing value data okay, visualization. So we have the ash creatine phosphonic kinase ejection fraction catalyst serial creatine and serial sodium. So this is our distribution relationship. And so we have strong positive correlation and the strong negative correlation. Okay, now we proceed to data preprocessing. So actually we have the first few row of data frame. So this is our output. Check for the missing value by attribute. So we have the, the quota range for the post plot. So post plot for the serial sodium. So actually our data is the balance, uh, is the balance. So this is our data. So classic correlation and distribution, he met again. So now we proceed to the distribution of the edge. This is our distribution for each of the col data column display. Okay, now we proceed to the logistic regression. So actually we have the first few row of the S test. So this is our data test. The model performance, I will have the confusion matrix, classification report. So logistic model for the confusion matrix. So we have the error. So this one is the, our logistic regression error. So now proceed to next is the random forest classifier. Yeah. So we have the accuracy. Okay, this for the AUC for the train set and the test set. This one is the for the random forest model performance, the confusion matrix, classification report for the uh, random forest, and the ROC graph. So now we proceed to the knife bias. So actually, we have the accuracy train set. So this one, model performance, and the Confusion matrix and the graph. That's all for us. H and email. So we have the accuracy. 